Hey guys, my name is Jordan and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that's very fitting for this channel. We're going to be cooking something. If you know this channel, the first video that I ever did on this channel was a cooking video. Actually, I guess baking. I did a baking video and I baked a cake for the one, the only, Mr. Spongebob Squarepants. I felt like the only fitting thing to do today is to make something from Spongebob. I'm going to make the Krabby Patty. Fun fact, actually, this is the sharpest knife ever. I accidentally bumped into it with my hand yesterday and I cut it so badly. Aww. I have my mom sitting here freaking out with the knife going, don't, don't cut yourself with the knife. Okay, so before we get started, we're probably gonna need to give a little bit of a food haul. So first up, we have this unidentified meat, ketchup, mustard, the classics, some sliced cheese, because I didn't want to slice it myself, tomato, onion, lettuce, let us have this dance. Pickles? Look for both the pickles. I actually hate pickles on my burgers. And then we have secret ingredient, the <laughs> secret formula. You know what they say? Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula. What is that noise? Oh my God. This is making like a ticking sound. Listen. Okay, so I had to take the lid off the secret formula because I thought it was gonna explode, but we won't know what's in here until later. So, to start off the Krabby Patty, what's the second word in Krabby Patty? The patty. So we're gonna take this unidentified meat and I'm gonna make a patty out of it. Cause I feel like I only, oh, I hate the sound of start from. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna. I can't stand the sound of styrofoam. Nails on a chalkboard for me, it's disgusting. So I'm just gonna cut it like this. So when you're making a Krabby Patty or just any patty, you don't want it to be just like sectioned meat, you know? Because if you had just have sectioned meat, that just tastes more processed. I feel like I look like a cool dad mixed with your little cousin who asks to play games on your phone. So now we've got just a heaping pile. Ah! Ah, in the same spot. How is that even possible? This knife is horrible. Okay, so something I like to do when I make patties. Okay, so something I like to do with patties. That's, that's horrible. I know we're gonna put onions on it, but I kind of want to, you know, put a little bit of spice into my patty because I can't stand when someone makes me a patty and there's just like bland nothingness. If someone seasons it well, then I'm down, I'm down. So to unblandify this patty, I'm gonna just chop some onions and put it in there. Oh my God, my eyeballs! I didn't even think about this. Okay, so now we got this little, these onions and I'm just gonna like sprinkle them in just like Salt Bay. He probably doesn't look like that though. So now we got the onion mixed in. To be honest with you, I think Krabby Patties are like frozen patties because I can't imagine Mr. Krabs getting like actually good meat, which is why I say unidentified meat. I'm just gonna salt and pepper this because you know, I don't wanna take away from the true recipe too much. So I'm just gonna do some basic seasoning. So what I'm gonna do here, it's a little unorthodox. Oh, there's a piece of skin. It's my skin. I'm gonna use this cup and I'm just gonna press it in there and I'm just gonna make my patty like that. And this meat can be a second patty. So here's my patty. It's like in Twilight when Edward gives her the apple, but <laughs> I'm just giving you guys raw meat. Okay, second grabby patty, cut. Bleh. Here it is. This is the second one. I'm gonna cut everything on this cutting board because if I cut it on that cutting board, there's raw meat on it. So I'm gonna cut the onion first because I've already been crying. There's that. Now we're gonna need some tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Oh, that's so much better than cutting the onion. So we got our slices of tomato. Comment down below if you like tomatoes because I love tomatoes and I'll eat them just like straight up tomato. But a lot of my friends have been like, that's disgusting, like tomatoes just taste like water. Uh, yeah, they taste like water mixed with tomato. So, and then they go on and tell me that they like watermelon. That is the same thing, it literally tastes like water, okay? Okay, now that I'm annoyed, we're gonna get out the pickles, which I don't like, on my burger. Ooh! Okay, now I'm gonna cut this pickle up. 
So let's get some lettuce leaves. Now that I've got wet leaves. It's dripping all over my floor. Clean it up with my sock. Now that we've got everything ready, I have these two slices of cheese and I'm gonna be honest with you, I hate this type of cheese, but that's what SpongeBob uses. Now we're gonna cook up the patties. Now we will move from this area of the kitchen to this area of the kitchen. So now it's time to get these patties ready. Put some oil in the pan. And I have my spatula. I always feel like I have to get the oil everywhere on the pan because I played cooking mama as a kid. So I'm just, I feel like if I don't do that, it's wrong, but I don't even think you really need to do that. Or do you? Comment down below if you're a chef. Comment down below if you are cooking mama. Not me standing here with a patty on my spatula. Okay, is it hot yet? It just burned my hand. Let's put patty number one in and patty number two. Let me show you live what's happening. There they are. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. It's always one of them gotta be ugly. Okay, I'll come back to you when they're cooked. They're done! Hey, look at that. Everything looks so good. It looks disgusting in this angle and there's leaking liquids off the side, but this is it. Okay, so now it's time to prepare the crabby patty. So first bun, then patty, Aww. then ketchup. Nothing's worse than the ketchup juice that comes out if you don't shake the ketchup enough. Ketchup, take it back, nothing's worse than, oh no! Okay, mustard, even though that went everywhere. Ketchup, mustard, pickles. Now we put the pickles on. You know, onions, lettuce, then the cheese. Usually when I make burgers, I would put the cheese right on the patty because then it'll melt a little bit, you know? Tomato, tomato, and then bun. Now it would be time to close the bun, but guess what? We gotta put the secret formula on. And how are we gonna get the secret formula out? Wait a minute. This is just a raffle ticket. Okay, I'm gonna put Thousand Island dressing on there because we don't really know what the secret formula is. Except that one video that was trending on YouTube that was literally the scariest video I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm gonna put Thousand Island dressing on it because you know whose secret formula that is. Okay, I'm gonna taste my Krabby Patty now. Hopefully it's not disgusting. They kind of look like just like generic truck stop burgers. I feel like that's because of the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna taste it now. Let's see if I like it. Oh my God, I must dropped it. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like it just tastes like a generic burger, but I know that Krabby Patties taste like heaven. That's all I have for this cooking with Jordan video. I am very happy with my Krabby Patty. Let me know if there's any other food you wanna see me try to make. I have to feel inspired by the food to try to make it, you know? SpongeBob is a really big inspiration for me comedically. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. when your sim doesn't know what to do. <laughs>